So now we're going to convert from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. So first thing to do is to draw a little diagram so you can visualise what's going on. So let's look at 8, 3. So 8, 3, somewhere here. OK. So we've got a right angle triangle, 8 along, 3 up. OK, so we can work out the hypotenuse R using Pythagoras. So we've got the square root of 8 squared plus 3 squared, which is root 73. So root 73 is R. And then we've got the angle theta, which is going to be the inverse tan of 3 over 8. So... 0.359 to three significant figures. Okay, so that's my R, that's my theta. And that's our first one. So number two, minus four, five, somewhere up here. So four, five, so that's the theta I need to find, this is r. Now r, we can work out quite easily by doing the square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared. So root 41. Now the angle that we need here, now you might be thinking, well, previously we defined theta as the inverse tan of y over x. So why can't we do inverse tan of 5 over minus 4? And we get minus 0.896. Now we know that's wrong. Okay, we know that's not right because that's going to give us an angle that's down here somewhere because it's minus, so it's measured that way. So just doing that on my calculator doesn't get me the right answer. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. Now, so that's just from doing, so minus 0, I'll write it down here, minus 0 0.896, okay? If we just do inverse tan of y over x. Okay, now, of course, the alternative is to do pi, take away this angle here, which is the inverse tan of 5 over 4. So pi take away inverse tan of pi, sorry, 5 over 4. And that gets us 2.25 to three significant figures. So that's our correct answer here. Now, what's this answer? Well, the inverse tan of 5 over minus 4 that we had, how do we get from this to this? Well, what we've found is actually, we found that point there. Okay, so actually, if we add on pi, that gets us back round to this point here. So if you add pi onto that, you get your 2.25. So you could try and remember it, as adding pi or subtracting pi, depending on what, um, where you are and what you need. Uh, well, adding pi, rather. Um, but really, in these situations, it's easier just to draw a diagram and find the angle out that way, I would say. OK? So I would always recommend that. So let's look at 6 minus 6. So 6 minus 6 is down here. There's my angle that I need. And there's R. So the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared is 6 root 2. And the angle is going to be inverse tan of 6 over 6. So inverse tan of 1 which is going to be pi over 4. And because we are in the negative direction, once we're going clockwise around, it'll be minus pi over 4. Okay. 
Now, oh, let's uh, just uh, make sure, let's have a look and see if we do inverse tan of minus 6 over 6, we get the minus pi over 4. So for this one, it worked out okay, right? So keep an eye on your calculator, just like if, if, if you rely on getting the angle just from doing that, using that formula, you've got to be a little bit careful with some of the results you're getting. Some work and some won't. Let's have a look at number four. So minus 8.7 minus 1.6, minus 8.7 minus 1.6, somewhere down here. Okay, there's R. And I'm going to want this theta here. Okay, get the principal solution. Principal uh, polar coordinate. Okay. So, R is the square root of 8.7 squared plus 1.6 squared. And we get uh, root 3, 1, 3 over 2. Now, as for the angle, uh, if we do pi take away inverse tan of 1.6 over 8.7, we get uh, 2.95, so we're going this way around, so minus 2.96 to three significant figures. Now, if we try the inverse tan of uh, y over x, uh, we get 0 0.1818, okay? So what that is doing is it's giving us this result here, Okay, so really we've got to subtract pi from that one, and that gets us our result here that we needed. Okay, so again, if the point is in the top left quadrant or the bottom left quadrant, your inverse tan of y over x method, you've got to keep an eye on it, it's not going to work. Um, you're going to need to either add pi or subtract pi depending on where you are. But best way forward is probably just draw a diagram so you can see where the point should be.